welcome back to another video guys in this video like i said in the previous one i will be going through the uh, all new edag plus this uh, diagnostic tool um is a mobile driven type should we say uh you download the app on your phone um and it's a fist size really nothing big you can always carry it with you at all times uh it's nothing crazy in that sense you got your power on vehicle and uh on switch there as well um so this i am going to go through uh in a bit more detail and i will set and i will tell you what it covers and what not so this is produced by king bowling the price is one of the main things that reflects this item this product here um it's around 140 pounds depends on the offers that they have on um but you have to remember what this uh, achieves compared to other diagnostic tools um for example i don't know hotel is one of the biggest competitors out there now i'm not saying hotels are there is no questions it's this top stuff should we say but you've got to understand a lot of the new companies that have come into the game such as king bowling x tool launch and whatnot um some of them have been out for years but the products that they make uh, to compete against each other you have to understand like similar one to this in the hotel world you'd be talking a good few hundred pounds like probably 400 plus maybe even more actually seven eight hundred pounds actually for to get what you can achieve so like the things that this can offer as i spoke about in the previous video like hidden features turning off warning lights such as your seat belt warning there for example um adapting new components such as um let's say you put a math sensor on you want to code it in calibrate it um o2 sensors math there are a lot there are many different sensors within the engine component but you can you can do this you can use it um you can even do a dpf regen which i know even in the old school like the delphi was one of the main ones that i used back in the days and and that was good stuff uh, but obviously <laughs> it doesn't do some of the things you want it to uh, this will do a do a dpf regen which is pretty damn good. Uh, you have to understand, like, some of the machines won't, so this will. Um, it does cover a good uh, percentage of, like, special functions, um, 15, according to manufacturer 15 plus. Um, so, for example, some of which, I mean, one of the things that kind of catches my eye more than anything is the key matching. That's one of the things that this kind of sells the product to me more than anything is the key matching where if you look at the other diagnostic tools they don't offer that you'd be paying seven eight hundred quid for similar or even maybe maybe less maybe more i don't know but at this current time i can't think of something else similar to this that will offer the key matching but the rest obviously most of the manufacturers will cover uh, however this does as well so for example abs bleeding um injector coding again another thing really important in the diesel world uh oil reset you know you've, you've got your oil warning light there it will reset it um we've said dpf resets as well you like your suit content uh battery uh reset there's many more many many more um it covers a wide variety of vehicles as well uh manufacturers say 120 plus cars um i can't name all the cars to be fair but um it's it is probably standard all across the other diagnostic machines um so some what you pay six seven hundred quid for this will cover that manufacturer as well has 12 different languages as well and uh, covers the gm vehicles uh, from 2020 onwards um there are there are various different things uh, that it can cover uh, so the edag plus uh so it is fca and sgw so like the it has fca function has the ability to access the diagnosis um on all vehicles uh so such as like um chrysler uh such as dodge um so it does cover them specific vehicles there are many more but um they're just some of which um like we said the key matching uh it would the, the, so this king ball and edag plus support well deletes and has key on some cars before 2008 okay uh, you need to confirm before you can have it done to be fair you, you want you want to be sure before you delete anything but um that's one of the functions it has um it does um a full diagnostic system check um 
like a full full diagnostic scan and clear you can do that health report um it is auto vin supported so by this we mean like when you do when you select a vehicle instead of selecting the vehicle manually you can go into it do an auto vin which we'll go into in a second but yeah these are the things we are going to go through it and um I'll show you step by step of what you first need to do. First, you go onto the. This is iPhone, by the way. So if you're using Samsung, I'd, you'll have to find out. But um, you type in eDiag, okay? You open the app, and we will be registering this in a second. So we'll allow. We'll register this. So I'm sure you'll get the same notification from your end. This is the screen we have, okay? Let me just pop this here out of the way. Now, so we'll do. We'll start off with the all system. We'll have to activate it because we still haven't activated it. It'll, it'll be asking for the serial number, which is this here. And then there is activation code, which I'm going to grab in a second. Once you're on this, we spoke about the auto VIN. So the auto VIN is like, let's do a full scan. So once you've paired it up to the vehicle, it's all connected. Everything's good to go. You hit VIN scan. Uh, We'll have to pair it up because it's the first time using it. So allow setting. We'll have to turn Bluetooth on and that's it there. Okay, so that's fine. Don't worry about that. Move back onto this since we've um, turned on the Bluetooth. Now it will, once you hit VinScan, it will connect itself up again. And it will select the vehicle automatically rather than manually so as you can see it's already done it obviously ignition has to be on so it does have there we go it's picked up the three models okay uh, it is an opal it is going to download this since the, it's the first time we've used it so we'll let it do that it shouldn't take long it doesn't always do this obviously it's only it's only the first time um how can i put it it's, it's the first time we've used it so it's going to download all the apps and whatnot so it's instantly brought us onto this next page now health report is the same as system scan so we'll just do a full diagnostic scan okay and this is the way to do it. And it's going to go through all the modules. And what's amazing is the amount of modules this goes through is incredible compared to other diagnostic machines. BCM. Now, it does talk as well. Um, I don't know, some, some of you might like it, some not. So, remember... You don't have a screen, but you're using your mobile phone, and this is just uh, a pocket size, so, you know, it's, it's nothing too big. It's a fist size, anyway. I see. Instrument. RC. Radio controls. ASCM. Active safety control module. Equipped. VPCM. Video processing control module. Not equipped. HCM. camera module. Equipped. SCLCM steering column lock control module equipped. Okay, so, so it's done the full diagnostic scan. Not equipped. Um, obviously, anything equipped is is there. Anything not equipped has been eliminated of the game. Now we are just going to go into the engine section as just um. If it, there we go. So if you um, wanted to. Go into the engine section and see if there is a fault code. Obviously, if there were, if there were, then you'd go hit that. It'll say, I don't know, P202, whatever it is. Um, freeze frame failures. We'll move on to that another stage. Um, so there are actuation tests, which obviously is like playing... This screen on this phone is not the best. So it's like activating, I don't know, your fan, your EGR. So these are the components. So there you are. So that would be beneficial. I've spoken about in many, many other videos. So if you were to put a front, a front end of a car, and especially with it being salvaged, some of the salvage world, that would be beneficial and handy. Before you put anything on, put the fan on, um, test it, see if it works, if it works, move on, put the other components on. Compression to AC. 
Obviously, that's the clutch relay. You'll hear it. EGR valve. You'll hear the valve playing up. Um, there are many things you can activate, test the glow plugs, uh, intake. So there is a lot of things. Remember, guys, for a hundred and forty pound ish, depending on the offer, you can't go wrong. It gives you a lot more options than some of the other diagnostic machines, such as Autel and Snap On and whatnot. Um, special function is these are the things that you would do if you had like um replace so these are the replaced um modules clutch pedal crankshaft so some of these are these are just some of the things um reset functions is like your o2 sensor dpf and whatnot um and it does have a wide variety um fuel injector correction i'm not going to do that they are your injectors uh injector flow rate programming again like there are things on this that just amazes me. I mean, I, I see a live data for your fueling system, which I'm not interested. DPF regen, I don't want to do a DPF regen. It is diesel, it's two litre diesel, but I don't want to do anything. But it has the function that, you, you know, if you need it. Um, event information, engine oil, event warning. Okay, so it will store anything that's been triggered. Vehicle inf uh, version, okay, version information. So it tells you 83%. Now, if I go on to here, sorry, oh, there you are. 84, 83, so it's not far off. So it's probably more accurate than that on the screen. So it, it tells you kind of live data in that sense. Um, so coming back out of this, this is just the engine section, guys. Um, which is pretty damn impressive. I don't know. There are many other data, other functions that we can go into, but I'm not going to go crazy on it. Uh, we'll come back out of this. Manually select is you. So instead of doing the full full scan, you'd go into manual select and go into the engine section and just do a full scan that way off the engine. Um, maintenance functions. So these are. Continue. Uh, so obviously, I've just downloaded these because it's fresh. We've just kind of. Uh, downloaded the app so your oil maintenance reset is uh, that one there as you can see now we'll let it do that immobilizer reset i don't want to play with that but as, as i said before you've got it there uh throttle relearn if you change the throttle body then you can just hit that and relearn it um let's just do this it's probably one of the easiest options we can do at this current time So here, obviously, we are going to go into, you've got, we said it's Opal earlier. Um, Vauxhall is really what we need. Ignition is on, so we'll do a software reset. Auto. So confirm, it's brought it back to 100%. Um, you can do the manual. Well, um, the manual is like doing it on here these buttons which i don't want to um but as you can see we've got that so abs bleeding if you've changed the abs pump pads whatever uh, new new uh, oil into the abs section brake test dpf regen your diesel particulate filter if it's been if you've got the warning on there um you can do a dpf regen tire pressure monitor sensor reset um, again, that'll vary. Some cars you can reset because you can't reset it on you. It's quite difficult sometimes. Um, but for like Toyota and some of the other vehicles, you'll have to code it in to the vehicle itself. You'll have to code in each sensor. Steering angle reset, that's to do with this here. If you've changed uh, any of the steering. Injector coding, again, guys, it's crazy. You can do this with this kit. Uh, gearbox relearn again i can't really comment it's it's pretty damn amazing that you've got these functions um and, and you're only paying that sort of amount battery matching again um if you've changed so like on your bms you you've changed it from a 90 uh, mah to 100 let's just say 
you just do it or even a new battery so bm are known for like for example bm i'm giving you bm as an example because i've worked on a lot of them if you've changed a battery that's 90 and you've got a new battery that's 90 again same code whatever the start and stop will not work i'll tell you that now the start and stop will not work and if it does you're damn lucky because what happens is it'll lose its coding so what you'll need to do is do that on most cars anyway even vag cars i just say it's code vw you'll hit the battery matching it will pair it up and then the start and stop will work at a traffic light EGR adaption, sunroof reset, air leveling cal calibration. I mean, uh, adaptive front lighting. There are there are lots of functions. Like I said, it's pretty damn amazing what you can do with this. Um, so we've done this. We've done the maintenance, vehicle coverage. Obviously, it'll you can manually enter the the VIN chassis, whatever it is, or even model selection this way. Um, it's good that it gives you both options. Sometimes you've got to understand Vin chassis will not be picked up. I've realised whether I was using Autel, uh, whether I was using um, other diagnostic machines, uh, Launch, uh, they was not picking up some of the Nissan Vin chassis. Let me tell you that now. Don't ask me why. I just couldn't, you couldn't pick it. So you had to manually select it. So it's good that it gives you the option. The report is basically, if you've saved it, you can send it off history is obviously what we've just kind of been on so that's the maker model i've only used it on this specific car it's just going to go back on to what we were on earlier so it's confirm yep again on to what we were on earlier health report it's the same um but you, the other good thing is as well you can pair it up and print it as well um the health report uh, which is good because i know some diagnostic machines will not allow you to as we've said it is pretty damn handy um that's your cabling nothing crazy and obviously the app we all use a mobile phone these days so it's something you can always carry on you uh whether you're a professional, high up in the game, you've got a garage, trust me, this will do the game that you need. This will do the job. Um, you don't have to go crazy these days. There's a, there, I'm sure there are other diagnostic machines. I'm pretty damn sure. But are they going to offer the same thing as this does? That's for you all to decide. But I have used diagnostic machines all sorts in the past. Delphi, VCDS, Hotel, Launch, um, even Snap-on, sorry, and... It's crazy what you have to pay for some of the other tools compared to what this can offer. Now, any questions, guys, by all means, pop it in the comments below. I'll try and get back to you all as soon as I can. Um, I hope the video has been helpful. Uh, but believe you or me, it is a good piece of kit, especially if you don't want to be carrying anything, you know, big screen wise. Or this is very lightweight as well, very lightweight. And I know the other ones with the screen are quite heavy and you've got to be careful that you don't smash the screen and whatnot. So there's less responsibility with this as well. But yeah, any questions, pop it below. I'll try and get back to you all as soon as I can. Thank you very much.